<gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, there in the sky, the cloud had eyes and long tentacles. What? So maybe it's not a cloud, but a ghast? I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build a ghast today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Mikey and I are going to build gas today. We will have three rounds in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Round one. For the first round, I will need white glass, magma blocks, concrete, as well as ceramics. I'm starting construction. First of all, I'm building a block of glass in the air, and now I'm starting to build my gas's body. First of all, I'm building a large frame. I'm continuing the construction. I'm making it higher. I also use glass blocks to build glass blocks on the sides. I'm doing great. They make wonderful legs for me. I build legs from all sides of my gas. Continuing the construction. I'm almost done. Now I'm filling the empty space inside my gas. I also fill the empty space on the sides. Friends! Do you know who Gast is? Write interesting facts about Gast in the comments. And I'll also tell you a little interesting fact. Gast is a huge white flying hostile mob that lives in the underworld and shoots exploding fireballs at the player. Gast is the second largest mob that naturally spawns in the game. Gast flies aimlessly around the lower world with his eyes and mouth closed and periodically makes sounds similar to a moan or crying, opens his eyes and mouth, noticing the player. He makes a loud squeal when attacking a player and screams loudly when he takes damage. The sounds produced by Gast have a minimum intensity regardless of the distance, which means that Gast may be closer than it seems. It has a size of 4444 blocks, as well as nine tentacles slightly longer but thinner than the player. I place a huge number of magma blocks inside my gas. And at the bottom, I place blocks of orange concrete. Now I'm removing some of the blocks from the front and putting black blocks in their place. Also, here, I build a red eye and the same on the other side. Great! I'm done outside! Now, I'm making a passageway. And putting up hatches. I'm putting up a ladder. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I'm putting up a bed, a workbench, a flower in a pot. I put anvils in the corners and decorate them with foliage. I put the chest on the other side of the stove and hang the picture. I'm putting up a rack for armor and hanging up my armor. Great! My guest house is ready. I wonder how Mikey doing. Meanwhile... That's the first round. I need to do my best. I'm starting construction. Great! The first round has come to an end. Wow! Mikey, you've got a great guest. Well done! Thanks, JJ! But I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me! Wow, JJ! What an amazing guest you've got! Thanks, Mikey. Round two. For 
the second round, I will need different blocks of concrete. I'm starting construction. First of all, I'm building a block in the air, just like last time. But this time, I'm building a block much higher. Now, just like last time, I'm starting to build the base and body of my ghast. I'm continuing the construction. I can't do without a hatchet here. Now, with the help of special commands, I fill in the empty space and finish building my ghast. From the bottom of my ghast, I build legs. Ghast has only nine of them, so I will build only nine legs for my ghast. Listen up, friends. I just remembered another interesting fact about ghast. Ghasts have a vision range of 100 blocks, has an explosive attack, and high mobility. Unlike most other aggressive mobs, Ghast does not have a stalking mode. He does not try to approach the player at a great distance. Ghast can force other mobs to attack him. However, he never attacks them himself. He only targets the player. When a player approaches Ghast at a distance of 16 blocks, he begins to attack periodically firing at his target and tries to gain altitude. The gas flies away if it is attacked in creative mode. Gas needs to see the player directly to launch an attack. Any solid blocks, including transparent blocks, can prevent Gast from seeing it. Gast is also careless about his own safety. He can injure himself from his own explosions if, for example, the player flies inside him and the explosion radius of the gassed fireball hits him or he hits blocks that are adjacent to him. Now, with the help of different blocks, I'm building my gassed's mouth. Also, with the help of gray blocks, I work out my gassed in more detail and change some blocks to gray ones. I'm continuing the construction. Now, I'm also using different blocks to build my gassed red eyes. It's ready outside. Now, with the help of a special tool, I work out the leg of my ghast in more detail. With the help of a special command, I remove all unnecessary blocks inside this leg. Also, with the help of the command, I build a wall in front of the front part inside my ghast. I'm putting a ladder up to the top, I'm building hatches. Hmm. It's time for furniture. I'm putting up a bed, a bedside table, and a lamp. I put anvils in the corners, as well as decorate them with foliage. I'm putting up bookshelves here, as well as a cooking table. I'm putting up more anvils and decorating them with foliage as well. I decorate the house around the perimeter with foliage. Here, I put cabinets as well as shelves for clothes and shoes. I put a dressing table next to it as well as racks for armor. I put the boiler on and pour water into it. I hang the painting in the center, and then I hang my armor. Great! My ghast house is ready. I wonder how Mikey doing? Wow, Mikey, what an amazing ghast you got. Great! Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me! Wow, JJ, you've got a great guest. Just amazing. Thanks, Mikey. Round three. In the third round, I introduce a special command and put a ready-made ghast. Wow, 
friends, look at that. This gas looks so much like the real one. Let's take a look at it. Damn, this is a really cool gas. Where is his entrance here? Let's see what's inside. Wow, there's a whole house here. There's even a second floor. So what's on the second floor? Hmm, something very strange. I didn't understand at all what they were trying to build. Great, my gas house is ready. I wonder how Mikey doing. Wow, Mikey, you've got a great gas. Well done. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me. Wow, JJ, what an amazing gas you've got. I like it. Thanks, Mikey. Am I glad that you like my house? I think we can end here. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye. <sighs> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. Good morning, JJ. Guess who wears a red suit and is not afraid of bullets? Um, maybe you're talking about Deadpool? I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build a Deadpool today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Mikey and I are going to build Deadpool today. We will have one round in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. A special building. In order to build Deadpool, I will need different blocks of concrete, as well as cobwebs. I'm starting construction. First of all, I build the legs of my Deadpool. I'm building a black base. And I'm also removing some black blocks and some red blocks. Now I'm lifting the red blocks high up. I thought about it and decided that I would replace the lower blocks of black with red as well. Now I'm completing the black blocks here. And exactly the same from the second side. Now I'm building the head of my Deadpool. I built the skeleton of the head. I'm continuing the construction. Now after that, I'm building the left arm of my Deadpool. When building hands, I use black and red blocks in the same way. Now I'm building my Deadpool's right arm in exactly the same way. I also use black and red blocks while I build them in turn. I immediately fill all the empty space in my hands. While I'm filling in the missing blocks, I'll tell you a fact about Deadpool. Tell me, friends, do you know who Deadpool is? His real name is Wade Wilson an anti-hero of comics published by Marvel Comics, created by artist Rob Liefeld and writer Fabien Nicisa, and first appeared in the comic The New Mutants, number 98. Nicknamed the Chatty Mercenary, the character has a non-standard, extremely cynical, and vulgar sense of humor. Originally portrayed as a villain in his early appearances, he is a disfigured Canadian mercenary with superhuman regenerative healing abilities and near immortality. Like Wolverine from the X-Men, Deadpool was subjected to experiments under the Weapon X program. After scientists tried to cure his cancer by inoculating his cells with the ability to regenerate, Deadpool was left disfigured and mentally unstable. Having originally appeared, like many other characters, in the main Marvel Universe, he subsequently received alternative versions that exist in other realities of the multiverse, including in the Age of Apocalypse and the Ultimate Universe. 
What do you know about Deadpool? Be sure to write in the comments. I'm very interested. I keep building my super duper Deadpool. I'm building the head of my Deadpool. With the help of black and white blocks, I build the eyes of my Deadpool. Now I'm filling the empty space in my Deadpool's head. I hope he doesn't see it, or I'm finished. <laughs> now, with the help of black and gray blocks, I build a weapon in my Deadpool's hand. It's a gun! And now I'm building exactly the same one in the second hand of my Deadpool. Now, with the help of cobwebs and gray blocks, I build bullets that fly out of the pistols of my Deadpool. Now I'm building a special design on the back of my Deadpool. At the same time, I use gray blocks, as well as blocks of wood. Have you guessed what it will be? What is Deadpool's favorite weapon? Apart from its super duper cannon? Absolutely right. These are his super dangerous swords. When building them, I also use blocks of stone and iron. I'm also building a second sword so that they are arranged in the shape of the letter X. Great! I'm done outside. I'm making a pass. And I'm also changing blocks of land to red blocks. I'm putting up the doors. Now I'm building a ladder all the way to the top. I'm also completing the second floor and putting up hatches. I'm also completing the missing blocks on the ground floor. Here, I will put bookshelves, as well as an enchanted table. I put up anvils and decorate them with foliage. I put the boiler on this side and also pour water. I hang up the painting and go up to the second floor. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I'm putting up a bed, a bedside table, and a lamp in the corners of the basement and decorate them with foliage. I'm hanging a huge painting. On the other hand, I put cabinets as well as shelves for clothes and shoes. I'm completing the missing blocks upstairs. I'm putting on a dressing table. I put up racks for armor and immediately hang up my armor. Great! My Deadpool house is ready! I wonder how Mikey doing. Meanwhile... That's my round. I was thinking, if JJ is going to build Deadpool, then I wouldn't want to repeat it. And who do you think is closest to Deadpool? Right! This is Wolverine. That's why I'm going to build it. Tell me, my best friends. And what interesting things do you know about Wolverine? I can tell you an interesting fact. Wolverine has a significant number of superpowers, he heals quickly, and has excellent physical shape. But Logan is also a polyglot, he speaks 18 languages, that's because he traveled a lot, and it helped him learn quickly. Wolverine's longest standing opponent is Sabretooth. The famous Wolverine phrase, I'm the best at what I do, but what I do best is not very pleasant, was coined by Frank Miller. It was his work that had a strong influence on a generation of comic book writers. He also helped Chris Claremont redefine the character of Wolverine. It's hard to imagine anyone other than Hugh Jackman in the image of Wolverine. Initially, the role was offered to Russell Crowe, then to Doug Ray Scott, and only then it was Jackman's turn. Here are some interesting facts. 
friends, and what interesting things do you know about Wolverine? Be sure to write your answers in the comments. I'm very interested. Great! My round has come to an end. I wonder how Mikey doing. Wow! Mikey! Is that a Wolverine? Yes, JJ, it's him! But they're best friends with Deadpool. You did a great job. I like it. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ, what an amazing Deadpool you've got! I like it! Thank you, Mikey. I am very glad that you like my house. I think we can end here. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye! Good night to you! Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye.